Right, okay, guys. So recently, we just had a little trip away to Newquay. Uh, and when I say we, that was the, my two boys, the missus, and the dog. And there's a reason for that, but we'll get to that in a bit. So we decided we was going to go down to Newquay because obviously during the summer, you know, the Cornwall area is known for having really nice weather. And it's also very peaceful as well. So we thought we'd go down there. There was somewhere that the missus wanted to go to, which was Port Isaac. Um, and there was what we found, a few places that I wanted to go to. Um, so basically what happened was, was the, as you do when you're planning a holiday, you normally have a look and see what's in the area. And uh, I said to the missus, I said, um, have you found anything, you know, retro gaming related down that way, just out of curiosity? I said, if they've got any nice um, retro gaming shops, I wouldn't mind nipping in there and having a look. And she said, uh, I haven't found any retro gaming shops yet, but I've found this. And this was right in Newquay. And that's a place called Retro Blast Coffee. So basically, it's exactly how it sounds. It's a coffee shop. But it's got a retro gaming side to it. Basically, it's filled up with loads of arcade machines. On top of that, also, what he's got in there is he's got a, a little bit down the back where he has tabletop gaming. And he invites people in to play their tabletop gaming down the back of the store and other people can come along and join in, etc., etc. Uh, which I thought was a nice little touch because even if you're not getting all the retro gaming people in the area in or even if there's a small portion of people that are into that, you've also got the uh, tabletop gaming side of it as well. And it's, it's a good way of making sure that he's always got custom. It's a very inviting place, and, and as I'm saying this, you'll see loads of pictures coming up. Um, you, you feel very welcome now, and it, it's a good blend of the two things, or three things, if you like, because it is a calf. Obviously, as you look, you've got um, around the walls, you've got movie posters, like framed ones, you've got movie cells, you can see consoles around the top of the wall. Obviously, you've got your arcade machines, and... Uh, also, in between all of that, you've got merchandise as well. Now, um, I did want to get a T-shirt because I really like their T-shirt design. So, basically, their, their store logo is the Space Invader logo, you know, that black shadow, uh, which is on the front of the T-shirt on the chest part. But then on the back, they've got, like, either a game like the Gallagher, you know, the Gallagher artwork, but they've changed the name at the bottom from Gallagher to Retro Blast Coffee, but in the same font. And they've done this with lots of different like gaming franchises. There was Pac-Man ones, uh, Gallagher ones. There was, um, what else they have? Defender. There were several others. There was one in particular that I was after, but they didn't have it in my size, so I was quite gutted. But really nice quality T-shirts. Uh, so the missus did find a sticker so at least they've got something from there as a little memento and you'll see a picture of that in a minute um so i just wanted something just to mark that we'd been there uh you'll also see in the pictures that um so connor ordered his first coffee um you know he's 13 now I didn't really see an issue with him having a coffee you know but he didn't like it so he wangled it so that he ended up with this massive great milkshake looking thing which you'll also see in the photos it was enormous uh so he, he done all right out of it because he got this massive milkshake um prices are really good as well which I, I thought was a great touch because sometimes with places like that you find that you know you end up paying a bit more of a premium for these things but not at all it, this place was just like any other coffee shop you go to very reasonable prices staff were very friendly and it just had a very nice vibe to it. I, I even like the little touches on the um, on the floor, and you'll see that in the photos too, where there's like a, an outline of the asteroid ship and little dots coming out where it's shooting. And it just so happened that when I took a picture of Molly, there was it was shooting her, if you like, in the shot. So, and, and that, that's to get to that. Right, I said earlier on that, you know, we took the dog with us. Well... Down in Cornwall Way, it seems that they're quite happy with you having dogs in a lot of these places. You can take your dog along into a lot of the shops 
and even in this case into the coffee shop so um so basically it meant that the entire week we was down there we pretty much took the dog everywhere with us which was good for us got plenty of exercise and it was good for us because it meant we could take her with us obviously you can't always do that so yeah it was a very like i say going back to the coffee shop is a very nice inviting feeling and i should also add on top of the tabletop he also sells the pokemon cards and things like that and there did seem to be a huge uh, market for that down there because while we was there we saw various teenagers buying loads of these cards and in fact i even heard one saying to the other one don't do it to yourself don't buy any more you bought enough already so quite clearly they spend a lot of their money in there so yeah i, I thought it was a really good idea incorporating that into it because like i say you know if you're just a normal coffee shop or even a retro gaming coffee shop you're gonna have spells where it's probably gonna get a bit quiet but you add the tabletop gaming in there you you've now got another market you can tap into and also the, the game cards you know so he's got this constant flow of young people coming through as well as the older generation like myself that like all the old retro games so i thought it was a quite a clever idea it's quite a good business model you know to keep it going um and quite clearly it works for him so um so there are going to be um some videos playing where you'll be able to see a little bit more of the shop um i couldn't really get a full 360 view of it all in one go and the reason for that is is that i'm not one of these people that likes to go in and go to people uh, I, I do youtube like blah blah you know go in and make out like you're all that i don't like doing that i like to go in you know as you would a customer and and you know if there's a chance to just get a quick little peek at things then do that i don't like to advertise the fact of what i'm doing you know at the end of the day i'm a customer like everyone else i want to experience it as a customer so i never say anything i just go in snap a few photos maybe get a little bit of a b-roll if i can and then you know obviously put into a video for you guys to look at so like i say i, I thoroughly enjoyed this and it, it was good that the missus found this because up until this point i hadn't seen anything really that was retro gaming so it was nice that there was something for me to enjoy on the holiday a lot of it was aimed towards the boys we did do various other things like go-karting and that together but a good majority of it was more aimed towards the boys so it was nice that there was a little something in there for me so all i'm going to say guys is if you are in the new key area at any point definitely make sure you check this place out i'll put the full address in the description below and I'll also put their um, Facebook page because they have a Facebook page too. Um, like I say, if you ever end up in this area, definitely make sure you pay out a visit. It's really good. And, and I should also add the arcade machines, very reasonable pricing, 50p a go, which I thought was really good. And the other good thing is you could get change at the counter as well, which was even better. It meant you didn't have to go somewhere else to get some change. You could get it there. So yeah, um, like I say, if you're in the area at any point, go and pay him a visit you won't be disappointed i really enjoyed it and in fact so did the missus i even caught her playing pac-man at one point so my missus is not much of a gamer she plays a bit here and there mainly on the switch or the wii but even she was sucked into playing pac-man so yeah we, we all really enjoyed it anyway that's all i gotta say on this video guys i hope you've enjoyed the video if you like what i'm doing please give the video a like you know comment down below if you've been there or if you're planning to go there i'd be interested to find out um also drop us a sub as well because you know th this is why we do this <laughs> so you know if we haven't got an audience there's no point in really doing it right <laughs> so if you have enjoyed what we've been doing then please drop us a sub we are on facebook twitter instagram as well so if you want to follow us on any of them feel free and until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, nerdy geezer out.